Finally tonight, this sounds like the premise for a sitcom. A mild-mannered calculus teacher is transformed every Saturday into a bruising NFL prospect. But there's no punchline here. Jim Axelrod introduces us to a real-life superstar. Strictly by the numbers, six foot three, 300 pounds, first team all Big Ten. Penn State offensive lineman John Urschel is exceptional. X, Y squared evaluated from Y equals X. But it's another set of numbers that elevate him to unique in the X. world of college football. And this gives us the integral from zero to two. Urschel graduated with a degree in mathematics in just three years and a perfect 4.0 GPA. He then finished yeah. one master's degree and so is now working on a second this. and has as many academic publications to his name as varsity letters. Yeah. I wouldn't say not very common amongst athletes. This is uncommon amongst math graduate students. I'm 22 and I have four papers. Urschel credits his math background for his ability to analyze defenses and make quick decisions. Mostly, head coach Bill O'Brien marvels at a player who writes on instabilities in the Sun-Jupiter asteroid three-body problem. But sometimes, O'Brien just laughs. If you give him a percentage of how many times this team blitzes, he wants to know the whole uh, you know, survey size and what games we looked at and how many numbers related to, I mean, we're, John, just take it from us, they blitz a lot. Urschel is just what the doctor ordered for Penn State, whose image was pummeled by the Jerry Sandusky child sex abuse scandal. Do you feel like you have a responsibility to sort of polish up the image a little bit of the university? Absolutely. I've really taken joy in being able to show people some of the great things that Penn Staters are doing, and that's something that I take very seriously. John Urschel plans to try the NFL, then tackle a PhD. And the Vertex 2.4. People look at me and they say that there's these two almost completely separate aspects of myself, but honestly, I say it all fits under the same letterhead of just hard work, dedication, and just a drive to be the best at what I do. Finish up what you're writing. Not a bad foundation, whatever the field he's in or on. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, State College, Pennsylvania.